I told you last night about Williamsburg of Cincinnati Apartments in Hartwell, where more than 800 families went without water for more than four days, including over the Thanksgiving holiday. Well, tonight, Local 12's Cassie Arsenal takes the issue to the city to find out if officials will intervene after residents say they have a long list of grievances. Right, Cassie? Kyle, some residents feel stuck, telling me they're still required to pay rent and they cannot break their lease, but they don't feel like the apartment complex is holding up their end of the bargain. The city gives me some clarity tonight on what their role is in all of this and some things people living there can do to improve their situation. I'm not concerned about myself. I will find a way. But there are individuals, families who don't have a voice, who need help. Rhonda Berry Deer is one of the hundreds of residents who went days without a basic human resource. She says this is just one of the many problems. She sent us these pictures highlighting some major issues like discarded toilets on the lawn, peeling paint, structural issues, and trash piling up. So I asked my city leaders, where's that responsibility? The city has to stay within their lines, generally speaking, right? I mean, what can a city council member do and what can't, what, what line can't you cross? Well, uh, you know, people who aren't taking care of their residents don't want to hear from us and so we call them. And so, I mean, you really have to be proactive. That's where the city begins, according to the vice mayor and head of the Healthy Neighborhoods Committee. City leaders try to work with management so that everyone wins. The city fixed the private pipeline, no questions asked. The apartment ownership will be billed for the repairs. The fire department cited the complex for several fire hygiens that were not up to code. And a building inspector was there today. Has there ever been a scenario where the city had to legally step into an apartment building that you can think of? Or is that sort of like very unheard of? It's not unheard of when the management is not responding. And so tenants say, you know, we need an attorney. We're going to put this in receivership. And so that, that does happen. The biggest mistake a tenant can make is not paying their rent. Well, that's illegal. You can't just not pay your rent. You have to escrow it in court. The city says they have resources to connect tenants to legal advice in the meantime and funds to help with repairs as well. You know, the city will do whatever it takes. I'm begging for help for my fellow residents. There are currently some open complaints filed with the city on maintenance requests that have not been filled. In fact, Rhonda is still waiting for that complex to fix several issues in her apartment caused by flooding.